वेलकम टू ई क्लासेस प्रपंच व्याप्त नित्यम चोटेसकट आविष्करण रसायन शास्त्र मूलम हो अंके सबजेक्ट निष्णातक चाल मंद विद्यार्थु उबिूर अच्छे सर कोचिंग चाल मंदिर वनक बड़ी सरग् इलां वारे के टेलीजन कैमिस्ट्री क्लास प्रत्येक श्रद्धे अभवज्ञ तो क्लास निर्वहिस्टी मरी कैमिस्ट्री क्लास की एंट्रीदा डयर स्टूडेंट एपिसोड सीनियर इंटर कैमिस्ट्री अत्य प्राख्यता गल आर्गा कैमिस्ट्री गुरी तेज मरी आर्गा कैमिस्ट्री की संबंधी एपिसोड आलखल अं एर हेलैट कैमिस्ट्री बोधन अत्य अभव गल के पवन कुमार गार विवरी and aryl halides this comes as a first chapter of organic chemistry learning in second year inter portion these two compounds that is alkyl as well as aryl halides are considered to be the halo derivatives of organic compounds if the halo group is attached to the saturated carbon atom we regard that as alkyl halide whereas if the x group is attached directly to any aryl group such as the benzene ring we consider them as the aryl halides here the basic difference between the compounds that is alkyl as well as the aryl halides is that this x group that is the halogen which is attached to the saturated carbon is very much in a position to leave the site and create a positive center on the carbon thus by forming a carbo cation whereas in case of aryl halides we cannot anticipate the easy cleavage of the carbon halogen bond in order to produce the phenyl radical so here as far as the reason is ascertained we say that there are lone pairs on the halogen which are involved in resonance with the benzene ring because of which there is a partial double bond character which is being developed between carbon and halogen due to which the bond energy the bond energy of carbon halogen bond the bond energy of carbon halogen bond is increased and it is not so easy to break the bond that is lying between the aryl group and halogen and the same is the case when this x is attached to any other saturated carbon i mean to say the vinyl halides are also possessing the properties of this aryl halides so these are considered to be the basic fundamental differences between the alkyl as well as aryl halides that is the reason why these two compounds the halides of the alkyl groups and the halides of the aryl groups had been differentiated or distinguished this distinguish or this differentiation is merely on the basis of their properties we can say that this bond can be easily broken hence this is susceptible for the nucleophilic substitution i mean to say this 
कार्बो कैटैन विच इज प्रोड्यूस्ड कैन नर्व कंबाइन विथ एनी न्यूक्लियोफाइल सच एज ओ एच माइनस इन एक्वस मीडियम टू प्रोड्यूस द न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूटेड प्रोडक्ट वेर आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग दिस ओ एच टू अटैक ऑन दिस कार्बो कैटैन टू प्रोड्यूस द एल्कोहॉल्स सो दिस इज द वाइटल प्रॉपर्टी विच डिस्टिंग्विश द एल्काइल हालाइट्स फ्रॉम दी एराइल हालाइट्स सो नव लेट्स टेक अप ईच एंड एवरी चैप्टर इंडिविजुअली सो स्टार्टिंग विथ एल्काइल हालाइट्स एज आई टोल्ड यू ऑलरेडी दीज आर दी कॉम्पाउंड इन विच the halogen group i mean x which would be fluorine chlorine bromine or iodine is attached to the alkyl group so here this carbon atom being saturated i mean to say it has only the sigma bonds connected we can anticipate this to be sp3 hybridized and having the tetrahedral geometry i mean these compounds can be correlated in terms of structures with the hydrocarbons it could be the simple methane or any other hydrocarbon can be taken into consideration but the bond angle in case of hydrocarbon may slightly vary from that of alkyl halide because of the presence of the lone pair of electrons on the halogen so these are the compounds that are saturated these are the compound that are having the halogen group that is attached to them so therefore overall put together we can say there is only one difference between the alkanes and alkyl halides is that the h is being replaced by the halogen so when it comes to the general formula of the alkene we call it as cn h2n plus 2 in which the hydrogen is being replaced by the halogen so this is the general formula of the alkyl halides now dear students let us move on to the nomenclature part that is associated with the alkyl halides when it comes to the iupac nomenclature that is international union of pure and applied chemist the alkyl halides are named as halo alkanes as i told you just now these are the halo derivatives of the alkanes hence they are generally referred as halo alkanes so here if i take any particular compound for example if i take a simple compound which is having the total number of four carbon atoms and a chlorine functional group in which first i have to choose the parent chain which is the longest carbon chain along with the chlorine present as the substituent after which the numbering should start in such a manner that the functional group would get the lowest locant i mean to say if i start numbering from this side the functional group will get 2 whereas if i start from here you can see obviously the functional group is getting the third position hence i have started the numbering from this carbon atom keeping in view the lowest locant rule into consideration so when i name this compound i will ensure that the locant of this functional group i mean to say the position of this functional group is being written followed by the name of this functional group that is nothing but chloro and total number of carbon atoms are being four so i am writing the root word but since there is only presence of sigma bonds we can call this as an as the primary suffix so all put together this compound is simply referred as 2 chloro butane now in case if the other functional groups are present along with the
parent chain. Say, I will take a particular compound like this. Now, my dear students, please notice that this compound not only having chlorine as the functional group, but also C double bond. That is nothing but the ketonic group. Because of which there appear to be a priority group or priority order that has to be assigned.